Hello, and welcome to the next video for Flight Simulation. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun uh, with our uh, flying. We're going to not be quite as structured, and we're going to give you some free time to kind of fly around. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and into the physics section and make sure this, this week's flight is on realistic. We want this to be as realistic as possible. So once you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is make sure you have the right aircraft. So let's select an aircraft. And this time I'm actually going to recommend that we go up and we take the Hexacopter 780. All right. We don't want to use the GPS mode. We're just going to use the regular Hexacopter. So let's go ahead and change that. A little bit of a different scenario here. And let's go into our environment and let's select a different airport. Let's go back to our construction site. So this will be an active construction site, which gives us a lot of opportunity to kind of fly and do some free flying. As that pulls up, now we're at the construction site. Now we're going to pull up our nav guides, our radio. We also want to pull up our binocular set, if we haven't done that before. This will give us a sense when we're in the air of what the drone looks like. So we'll make this just a tad bit bigger. Here we go. And then the last thing we're going to pull up is our viewport down here. And again, just for the sake of we're going to be out there flying, let's go ahead and see if we can't pull that up. This isn't the correct view. We want to go into view, camera type, and we'll go to gimbal this time. And that'll give us a look at the gimbal itself. Or if you prefer, you can also use a nose view, uh, which will give you a little bit sh more straight on uh, type view. So I'm going to go ahead with the nose. You can use either one, whatever one you prefer. And what you're going to do for this assi week's assignment is you're going to capture uh, a video for two minutes of your free flight. And I want you to fly your hexacopter around the construction site. So we're going to go up. Remember to do your pre-flight checklist. And now we're going to do our control check. I'm going to yaw to the right. Yaw to the left. Straighten it back out. I'm going to pitch forward. I'm going to pitch into the reverse. I'm going to roll to the right. And I'm going to roll to the left. So now, I'm going to begin my video now that I've done my control check. And a fun place to fly would probably be through this construction site. So I'm going to try to do this really at top speed. So keeping my throttle full, I'm going to try to go up. Don't hit the roof. You're going to have to come down a little bit here so you don't catch on that tarp. You have your crane. Try to fly through these. And again, let's see if we can go up and fly through this construction site. You may crash. I may crash. Remember, that's what we're doing. We're practicing. It's a tight fit in here. I want to go over into this crane and see if I can't fly through the crane a little bit and get a nice close look. Fly right through here. And you can look on your screen and try not to crash and fly around the crane. 
keeping that throttle. Right hand stick pushed all the way in so as if it was full throttle. Get a sense. Watch your first person view. Watch your other views. Come down. Fly between the buildings. Now remember, you wouldn't be able to do this in real life because your line of sight Can't clear that light pole. Turn quickly. Do a nice roof inspection. There. And you're just flying around. You're trying to have a good time. You're trying to practice your flying skills. You're trying to put yourself to the test. Your ground speed's only 11 miles an hour, so should be able to control it. Let's see if we can't fly through here. Maybe go up a bit. Our altitude, 300. 350, 360, 370, 380, and we want to stay below that 400 feet because we do want to simulate, but we want to simulate legally. Now what am I doing now? I have my stick in the lower right hand corner and this is a quick descent. If you ever had to do this in real life. Let's try to go back to where we were. And just an exciting little flight here. Bring this unmanned aircraft system down as fast as I can. And you can see I'm at 170. Bring it in back to our flying tent. And try to land it right where you would take off on a normal day. And that's your video for this week. You're going to practice a little bit, try different things, see if you can fly under the tent, around trees. Really try to get as close to buildings as you can. Do some practicing. Remember, every time that this drone has an accident, no damage is done. You just hit the reset button and start again. We'll see you in the next video.